Well, we've just about got it all wrapped up here. Got this uh, hose and everything mounted here. So when you extend the reel, this thing pivots here on this mount. Allows that to flex out. I've got this cap here on this side, fastened down. This is pretty nice. Our other one uh, doesn't have this because the air system goes around the whole entire head. Uh, but on this one, it stops here. I think they said under 40 foot is when they start doing this. So this is kind of this is kind of sweet. You don't have to run it around the whole entire head. We've got to hook up our harness here that goes in the cab, so you can control your fore and aft for the air reel. Trying to think here, we got to mount a gauge over here, and then that should be it. Uh, we might have to do some adjustments here on on uh, the air reel, as in on both of these brackets here on the right side and the left, in the middle, I guess. Um, but we won't know until we get outside and we shoot around with up and down on the reel and cutting height and whatnot. So we'll be we'll be wrapped up here shortly with this. So we've got everything all finished up on the head. We're just we're wiring so. I've mounted my query box right here, and now I gotta get some power for it. Where's the power wires right here? Here are the power wires. Kill the power, kill the power. Well, we got her all done, so I'm gonna put this thing on the head cart, we'll get it outside and run it. Well, we got a slight problem here. The fan is right there where the wheel of the head cart is. Oh boy. So we're gonna have to adjust the head cart. Alrighty, let's do a test fire. helped if we would have tightened the clamp here then we wouldn't have had this problem somebody forgot as in somebody I mean me forgot to tighten that up okay folks take number two here we go was tight but who knows I don't know I guess we're gonna find out well I'm two for two for forgetting to tighten these clamps so I'm gonna go get the impact and tighten it up third time's a charm huh I think it wouldn't hurt to put a piece of hose over this edge you know slit a piece of hose that way it's doesn't I can feel that cut into that cut into that over time yeah make sure these are tight they are I tighten them All right, here you go. Go give her a take number your three. Reel, or your reel's got to go forward too. No? Reel's got to come forward. I need to adjust. Uh, may not, may not need to go down much. Let me screw with the reel and let me put it down on the ground too. I'm gonna do the pitch and see if I can get it. Otherwise, we might have to adjust. Uh, what am I stepping? Those rotten soybeans. Oh, probably. Oh, that's great. Um, we're gonna have to adjust some stuff here, lower that down a little bit. What'd you think? Did you notice you want the air hitting the back side of the sickle bar? Okay. And it, when you had it down here on the grass, you could see the grass moving out in front if it's tilted too far forward. So you need to rock it back. But it also all depends on how high your reel is. Yeah, because it's not going to be all but the way down. But you don't want it ever to get in the ground. And there's times you put the reel slamming. I think slamming. it's okay where it is. I do too. It needs to be pulled in. But you'll do that when you start cutting. Yeah, it'll I be. Worry about it. I think we're good. I say we get it off the head. What did the air feel like coming out of here? Pretty good. On, on the, this, the end one here. Yeah, with it being one uh, it's warm. That's hot. I thought the air coming out of here. Um, those. Uh, 
tubes over there, they really blow up. Oh, they because it's only going one side. Yeah, see, this is the same. See, it's blocked fan, off here. Same fan that I'm running on a 45 foot. <clears throat> yeah. So you may deflect that fan air. Shut her down a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, we'll figure out. We can only speculate right now. We'll, we'll really fine tune it when we're cutting beans. Yeah, I mean, all we're doing is mowing the grass right now. <laughs> All right, let's cut this. Uh, I'm gonna unhook her here, right? Follow the leader. So now we're moving these mowers out because we're gonna put this draper head in the shed. Um, so we're gonna pull out both these bat wings put that head in the corner and then back these both uh, back in the shed but I'm actually gonna unhook this one because dad's wanting to use the greater box we've got a little pile of rock there we're gonna drag around the yard here and he always uses this tractor to do that so we back these in we're gonna unhook this uh, 15 footer and then I don't know if he's wanting to hook it up now to the box grater or, or what he's wanting to do. He's backing that thing in now. Hmm. Well, let's go get the bean head. I need a clevis. That area he's working around in, that's where that shed blew down. He's tilling it up. We're gonna plant grass seed there, drag it, and uh, call her good. We're all hooked up. We're getting all this grass seed spread right ahead of a rain, Dad. Is that good or bad? Good. Depends on after the rain. Think it'll turn this little pad into concrete? Possible. <clears throat> what do you think our target population is out here? <laughs> Pretty heavy. Get another spreader. <laughs> all right. Here's our spreader. We got one field cultivator trying to keep up with two planters. All right, let's mix her up a little bit. Be interesting in, uh, in a month from now to see if any of this is even growing. <laughs>
Well, now we have transitioned onto a third day for this video. And I'm getting ready to hop in this 4650. Got to mow down some corn. So, got one more spot to do. Gonna haul some lime in there today. So, we'll go ahead and get that mowed off so they can start hauling and then I'll be back to the farm and do something. Well, I was gonna mow down some corn where we're gonna put this lime, but I've actually changed my mind. I'm gonna mow down some beans here because we farm both of these fields side by side. And uh, That's all right. there's some there's some water hemp pretty hefty here in this corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and well maybe mow a little bit of corn over here. Maybe a little beans on this side. I don't know, just kind of clean up this corner of this field. Well, up next, let's go grab the other draper head, get it out of the shed. And I'm not gonna pull it in the shop today. Um, I'd like to pull it out here and just let it sit in the in the yard for a little while. Just in case there's any mice or something in it, I don't want to bring them in the shop. So we're going to go grab that, bring it to the farm, and just unhook it out here in the barn lot. Well, this one's going to be a tight squeeze coming out of here. I'm really hoping this, uh, this fan here doesn't put us in a bind coming up to this fender on the seat tender. But... We won't know till we try it, so let's hook her up. So here's the deal. I couldn't get the draper head out because I was going to run into the fender on the seat tender. So I moved out the corn head and I switched the ball over on my truck and now I'm backing in here to hook onto this seat tender. I'm going to get it out of the way then I can move the draper head out. So, a little bit of a process here. Alrighty, well after a bunch of hooking and unhooking, we're finally on our way to the farm. Well, a 45 footer's made it to the farm. We're gonna let her sit out here for a day or so. And uh, then we'll be hooking it up to the uh, the combine. Need to get the head all uh, serviced up, grease, check all the fluids, and uh, just get it ready to go for uh, harvest time. Well, folks, that's all for this video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.